Welcome to Knockburn Nation. Welcome back, guys. Jarrell here. And I'm Josh, and today we're here to talk about Last of Us before it actually premieres next weekend. Mm -hmm. Very excited, guys, for this series. Um, Jarrell, huge fan of the game. Played both of them. Yep. Uh, me, never played one. Never played one. <laughs> <laughs> no, but uh, the trailers look awesome for this thing. Um, HBO. It's HBO. It's, it's HBO, guys. It's I mean, it's it's good. always they come out with some good content. So. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, guys. Uh, Last of Us premieres January fifteenth on HBO Max. Uh, so basically. This isn't going to have any spoilers. We kind of just wanted to give you guys information of The Last of Us for those viewers who don't know of the games, who, you know, probably we, I know there was a number of you who watched our trailer reaction and, and you guys were like, what is this? You know, I never heard of the game. Is it zombie? Is it horror? Um, and a little did more. Did we get some people like that? Yeah. We yeah, did? Okay. We did. Yeah. yeah. That's and, good because you're yeah. you're along with me yeah, on this. A little so. more information for Josh yeah. as well. So, um, so guys, yeah, The Last of Us is an upcoming uh, post-apocalyptic drama television series created by Craig Manson and Neil Druckmann. Neil Druckmann is a writer and creator of The Last of Us. It is based on the 2013 video game of the same name developed by Naughty Dog. And the series will follow Joel, who was played by Pedro Pascal, uh, Game of Thrones, awesome The Mandalorian, uh, and uh, a smuggler tasked with escorting the teenage Ellie, who's played by Bella Ramsey. The only thing I know her of is in Game of Thrones. Lady Mormont. Lady Mormont. Across a post-apocalyptic United States. And... Um, Basically, what it is, is that there is there's something with Ellie that they need to get her to these scientists out on the West or out, out on the West Coast, out in Seattle. Basically, they need to get her out there. Um, does she know Joel? She does not know Joel at all. No. Um, so does she have a father and mother. They are complete strangers. Um, or is that giving away too much? It's not really giving away too much. You don't really you in the game. Basically, they they pass away, um, you know, because we never see her parents. Yeah, sorry, in, guys, in the game. I'm trying to ask questions without spoiling yeah, too they, much. And yeah. I don't think that's a spoiler. No, you don't. You don't see your parents in the game. It's, yeah. it's you know, just assume that they passed away or whatever. Um, so basically, what is The Last of Us? It is uh, it is kind of a zombie horror type genre. So basically, uh, there was an outbreak of a mutant cordyceps fungus that ravaged the United States, transforming transforming its human host into aggressive creatures known as the infected. Um, this took place actually in the suburbs of Texas and everyone and uh, Joel flees with his brother and his daughter, which is kind of the beginning parts of the game that we'll get to see. Uh, so for humans that have been affected or exposed to a mutated strain of the cordyceps, I can't say the long word of what this is. It's a fungus that attacks the brain that begins to alter the behavior of its host. The host will then go through four stages of infection. Is that made up? What? The fungus. Is the fungus real, but they kind of created this apocalyptic uh, event in a off sense. of it? In a sense. That's yeah. pretty sweet. Yeah. So four stages of infected, guys. There are runners, stalkers, clickers, bloaters, and there is a one called a shambler, uh, which we'll get into. But each stage is more dangerous than the last. <clears throat> um, so if you're a runner, which is stage one, mm -hmm. can you become stage four? Yes. Over time, you and, do. And I will explain okay. that. Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, dude. I'm no, jumping all ahead. Good. No, you're good. Uh, the infection also spreads directly through contact with an infected or via their corpse. That is, the infectious spores created by the cordyceps and released from the host's body upon death. Those spores can quickly infect an individual, making breathing difficult and movement sluggish. Within only minutes is, is exposure in such spore-dense areas. So basically... That's insane. Yeah. You can get infected through the spores through the spores so you can get infected so basically it's not like you know the walking dead almost like a bit yeah so right. i mean you can't you, if you do get bit you will turn oh that's great but it's not <laughs> but if you die if you die you do not turn it's not like the walking dead like that. yeah yeah, yeah if yeah. you just normally get you yeah. know if you get killed shot in the chest or whatever and you die you die you're not gonna yeah, turn. Yeah, yeah. but yes there are densely areas where the infected stay for long periods of time and there's spores that come in the air also when you kill one it releases the spores into the air now here's one thing they are not doing for the show which kind of made me upset they are not 
doing the spores for the TV show. Really? So creator, so, yeah. So, so it's cr- just if you get bit. Well, no, here, so here it is. So what I'm they're doing again. is that the creator for uh, Neil Druckmann said the game had spores in the air and people had to wear a gas mask. And guys, in the game, it was the creepiest shit you could ever imagine. Um, and we decided early on that we didn't want to do that for the show. Eventually, yeah. those conversations led to these tendrils. So tendrils are, is a slender, thread-like appendage of a climbing plant often growing in a spiral form that stretches out and twines around a suitable support. A suitable support so what they're going to do is uh they have a picture which i'm showing uh which i'm showing to you guys online i'll show josh here so basically now instead of spores the infected who die will basically have these tendrils just crawling out of them and um it's it's potential that if you maybe if you touch one of those if you maybe scratch yourself you could possibly get i kind of see why you're upset about that yeah because the spores guys it, it, to me makes it more dangerous Oh, it does. Because those things like... You got to find a gas mask. <laughs> they're so... Mi- what's the word? Micro- microbial? Microbial, yeah. Mm-hmm. That that like, who knows, right? It's kind of like, I don't know if you read the documentary on anthrax that's mm-hmm. on Netflix. Like, when that attack happened, like, they were in a post office and like, everyone got sick mm-hmm. because of the spores in the air. Yeah. In a post office. Yeah. <laughs> like, it's, it's... It's cool because in the game, there's certain like, when you have to get through a building and you can tell because in the spores you you kind of have this weird misty you know there's mist around they're like oh it's spores so you put the gas masks on and as you're going through a dark area full of spores and gas masks there's there's runners in there there's stalkers there's that's clickers. that's legit that's, that's um, legit I, i'm wondering you know, you think they did that simply because they wanted us to see the characters rather than, than through masks a lot more uh, often i don't I don't truly know. I haven't yeah. seen a. Uh, I haven't seen him really go in and explain too much. Yeah. But um, he just basically said, I think they wanted to kind of take that element out and just kind of go with something different for the show. That's tough because yeah. that just to me the the spiral plant whatever. Like, how often are you gonna you know be encounter encounter that? Right. right? I mean, well, I mean, you'll you'll encounter it when you kill them. Yeah. What would re- what would be really cool? As if they killed one of them, right? And it immediately starts like traveling out like the tendrils. Fast, yeah. Right? Not yeah. like over time, this, you know, couple months it, it comes out like mm-hmm. it attacks you. Yeah. <laughs> like, that'd be cool. Actually he did say here, um, so let's see. Uh, let's see. But the more recently, in fact, we had a conversation about what that vector could look like because there are certain things from the game that we took away. The game had spores and the air uh, in the air and the people had to wear gas masks. And we decided early on that we didn't want to do that for the show. Eventually, those conversations led to these tendrils. And then just thinking about how there's a passage that happens from one infected to the other. And like fungus does, it could become a network that is interconnected. It became very scary to think that we're all working against us in the in this unified way, which was a concept that I really liked. So, uh, yeah, I think it's that they just really wanted to change the concept of uh, – going from spores to something else, going to these tendrils, which is pretty cool. Um, One thing that they did mention, Neil Druckmann, the creator and uh, of The Last of Us, uh, in the game, guys, the game, the game is really brutal. Like it's, the story is amazing, of course, but the, the 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 fighting is brutal. There's there's brutal situations. So one thing that he did say is that they have toned down a lot of the violence in this show because they really wanted to focus on, on the, the story, story. Yeah. and the story is what makes The Last of Us amazing. When you're in a rec- when you're in a game and you're fighting and you have to do those things, it's part of the game, but it's the story that makes it awesome. You mean game one? Uh, what's that? You mean game one? Game uh, well, the first game. Both both games are brutal the story though yeah the story yeah so this so yeah so <laughs> you this know what i'm getting at. yeah yeah so this <laughs> so this first season guys is going over the part one of the game the first part of the game there is a part two they did say that if they do i'm sure they will they're they o- will they're dude. only going to stick to the adaption of the last of us they're not going to deviate from the story but in season if when they do the last of us part two he said that will take multiple seasons because that game and story is longer than the first game they're going to do the story yeah yeah yeah, okay. yeah, they'll just stick to that. But uh, this is part of the first game. So, but taking the violence out of it, I get it. I mean, it, it's going to have violence in it, but it's not going to be as brutal as the game was because the game is just brutal. <laughs> it's awesome though. It's got to be pretty bad for HBO not to want to do it. Yeah, yeah. Honestly, 
Yeah. We've seen some violent well, I don't think shit. It, from I don't think HBO. it's HBO not wanting to do it. It was Neil Druckmann who wanted still, to tone it down. But yeah. still, yeah. Oh, yeah. I see what you're saying. Yeah. I mean, HBO's done some violent shit. Oh yeah, there, yeah, like yeah. Game of Thrones yeah. is violent. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> so let's get into the nitty gritty. I know Josh is excited to hear this. We are going to be talking about the stages of infection. Yes. So guys, runners, runners are people who recently turned into infected. They are defined by their intense speed, sluggish attacks, and tendency to attack people in hordes. So yeah, these are people who, when you first turn, they're almost like when you see them in the game, they're all they're almost like fighting with themselves. They're kind of like they're they're very just agitated they're jittery they're agitated you make a noise they're running at you they're coming right for you dude <laughs> it's insane it, it, it's freaking insane then we get to stalkers Stalk- do i'm sorry, sorry. do runners have any physical attributes that classify them as runners other than the no. agitation just and the speed twitching the speed the twitching they're just very aggressive like and very fast red eyes or something like that. Uh, i mean when you see the infected yeah i mean their their faces you know kind of gives like the, the zombie type piece they look very pale their eyes are very bloodshot yellow okay. Okay. so you yep. do see those characteristics okay. in the faces yeah uh stalkers stalkers are people who have been infected from somewhere between two weeks to a year wow per their name they stop and hide from prey in the dark and attack to opt uh, at optune moments some also latch onto walls and allow the cordyceps to fester keeping the host alive until prey walks by at which point the stalker breaks free and attacks i don't get that so the court so basically the cordyceps like on that almost like that picture on the wall where it showed the tendrils where you're plastered up on the wall like that oh, okay. so they can be on the wall like that allowing the cordyceps to keep festering them and keep keeping them alive and then as you walk by psh, they come right like out a ninja you. walker basically yes but it's more of like a plant-based <laughs> that's insane it's like a fungus basically but yeah. they hide they hide they hide and in the game like as you you know in the, there's parts of the games where you're walking through these buildings that are dark and you hear you hear noises and you turn around and sometimes like you shine their light they'll move away really quick because they don't want to be seen that's but insane. other times they're they're like crawling on the ground on all fours and then eventually come and attack you that's dude. freaky it's freaky as shit all right then we get into the clickers clickers are people who have been infected for at least one year the long time lapse has allowed the fungus to spread all over their bodies, blinding them and forcing them to use uh, echolation, echolocation to find their prey. So basically, they can only hear you. Uh, however, the fungus has granted them enhanced strength, making them fearsome foes in close quarter combat. Oh, my God. Yeah, these clickers are insane. God damn it. Clicker. Jeez. What's wrong with its face? That's what years of infection will do to you. So what, are they blind? Sort of. They see using sound. Like bats? Like bats. If you hear one clicking, you gotta hide. That's how they spot you. You'll just hear the clicking, right? And, uh, you know, in the parts of the games, you'll use like bricks or bottles to throw in the opposite direction to move them. But if you make a mistake, they come they come right at you. They're so fast and you are dead. <laughs> you are dead. That's insane. <laughs> it's so it, cool. And, and terrifying. It sounds terrifying. It's terrifying. <laughs> yeah. Then the next stage is bloaters. Bloaters have been infected for several years. The fungus has led them to become slow and blind, yet incredibly strong and resilient with the fungal growth serving as armor plating. Bloaters can also tear fungus from their bodies to use as spore bombs and throw them at their enemies. Uh, however, this additional fungal growth makes them vulnerable to fire. So, um, you know, are they going to use in this scenario, those bloaters would have the tentacles on them. 
right? I'm assuming yeah, that's, that's how um, they're going to do it. Since since they're not doing spores, I'm not sure if they're going to have the bloaters be throwing those spore bombs. We'll have to see what they, they do. They could be tentacle bombs. They could be tentacle bombs, yes. Right? They could and, be, yeah. And still, yeah, that'd be sweet. That'd be sweet. Uh, they did announce that there is going to be a new infected that was not part of the games. It's specifically for the show. They have not released what that is, or we haven't seen any clips of it. The only one that we saw in the trailer that was coming out of the ground, that was a bloater. Um, so there is going to be a new infected specifically. So every game. runner will become a... Everyone goes up in stages. Everyone yes. goes through the stages. A runner will become a stalker. A stalker will become a clicker. Gotcha. A clicker will become a bloater. Yeah. And there is two more... Um, I believe these two were actually, I'm not sure we're going to see, I won't read the last one, but I, uh, a shambler, but I think the shambler. And these are in the game and you've seen these in the game. Yeah. So you've yeah. seen all of these. Yeah. Uh, a shambler, this was more in the second game, so I'm not sure if we're going to see that in this season at all, but I'll read what this one is. This one's pretty crazy. So shamblers are people who have been infected for several years and typically inhabit areas thriving in water. Uh, while not as physical oh, enhanced as clickers or bloaters, shamblers are able to grapple prey and expel large spore clouds from their bodies, which cause acid burns on the skin of prey. When killed, the spores explode, releasing a final burst of cordyceps into the air. Jeez, yeah. dude. But I think that was more on the second game and not the first game, so I don't know if we'll see shamblers in this You said one, there's so. one more, though. There is one more. It's the, um, it's called the, they're called the Rat King, so... Uh, the Rat King is a unique stage of infected that developed in, uh, in the second part of the game uh, over 20 years of infection um, formed from several infected combining into one. The Rat King is col is colossal in strength and size and able to take extensive damage from fire, bombs and guns. Even after taking much damage, it does not die, but instead it various its, its various infection parts will start to break off from the larger mass and attack along with it. Yeah, <laughs> so we won't see the Rat King. I don't think twenty plus years. We won't see that. We won't see Shamblers either. So yeah, we're just going to be dealing with runners, stalkers, clickers, and bloaters in this one. That's but crazy. they're all insane. They're they're insane guys. It's going to be so good. So the one thing I do have to mention, we are going to be doing a reaction series to this. Um, I am going. To, I have to try very hard during this to not speak out when I see certain scenes that I know of from the game yeah. because I don't want to spoil it for you. I don't want to spoil it for Josh. I don't want to like call out like characters. You know, I'm just not going to do that because it won't be a good experience for you if I'm just calling stuff out that I'm you know, anticipating like, oh, sure. this is going to happen next because because I've, well, I've played the games. I'm definitely not going to do that for you guys because I don't want to ruin it for your guys' experience. And especially, I do. Especially I, Josh, I will so. be interested from you if they've done anything different. Yeah, there's you know, going to be that, that I will be. And maybe that's a conversation that you can yeah. you and I can have on a recap or something. But, yeah. you know, be that, that's what I'll be interested about is how much they change it. Um, I suspect not very much because you have the the creator of this doing the, the show as well. Mm -hmm. So, yep, the writer and the creator of the games is fully involved. Yeah, in the show. And look, guys, when you get that kind of collaboration and, and agreement on doing a project, it, it's going to turn out good. Yeah, it's going to be this good. It's going to be great. Um, I do know that uh, Bella Ramsey, she mentioned in an interview that they they highly advised her to not play the games. They told her, do not play the games. She did kind of say that. Is that she the, did kind of uh, Be Bella Ramsey? Ella? Ella, Ellie. Ellie. Ellie, Ellie yeah. yeah. She did say that in secret, she watched some gameplay, but she didn't, you know, she didn't play it. So oh, that's kind of be tough because she's got to know how what the character she's playing you know i'm sure yeah they've given, so I'm they've sure given she her had to have watched something about she it. watched some gameplay they, they just didn't want her to watch the game to basically play it to where you know she's she mimic she's mimicking too much of the character yeah. she's got to bring the character to life and they're of course going to direct her in the right way but it's just kind of those things where you know don't play the game because we don't want you to maybe have certain things from that maybe we want to bring out a different piece of it you know as we're directing yeah. you but guys it's i'm su we're super excited for this um when they announced this that they were going to do it a lot of fans have just been amazingly excited about it now there's there are some fans that are not too happy about the casting choices between joel and ellie with pedro pascal and bella ramsey but that's just you know yeah whatever it is i mean you can nitpick you can not be How happy could you be mad about that it's 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 how we get a lot of, you know, fans that are upset with 
castings anywhere especially like in star wars like <laughs> like i there's just oh it's not easy to it, it's not hard to piss off a star wars fan right i mean they're pretty you yeah know. yeah i know but i mean <laughs> no with games you know a lot of people want the game castings to mimic exactly the characters that were in the game and that's a little bit different in the real world i mean we know that we would want a character like that um so 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 perfect example so joel's joel's daughter in the game, you know, he he's a white male. Joel is white. His daughter is white. Um, as you can tell, Pedro Pascal is not white. He is Hispanic. His daughter in the game is black. Mixed, basically. She looks mixed. Okay. So not saying that people are being like racist. They're just there's there's a portion of it that could be, but there's just people that like castings to just be exact. And you just can't you don't have to do that all the time. The game does not dictate that you have to cast the same person of the same race every time. Sure. You don't have to. But I get why some fans may want it that way, but then you throw out the other fans. I guarantee who, you. Throw out the other fans who are being more prejudiced and racial. F them. But, oh, yeah, fuck you know, them. Like, I mean, uh, who gives a shit about them? Right. I mean, they're going to bitch no matter what right. when they see, you know, di- something different. Yeah, exactly. Uh, you know, and it's just, it's pathetic. Right. Uh, but, you know, we've seen this before. Um, Plenty you of know, times. The house of Dragon. <laughs> like an entire house was was black. recasted yeah. into a, a black role, a black that, male. And that was a huge controversy for some. But it was awesome. For all, but it was, but it was awesome. awesome. You could give it a chance. Right. It, <laughs> like, it's, a, it's a fantasy world. A fantasy world does not dictate the race that you have to be. You know what I mean? So it's, it's amazing. Um, I think it's, you know, from the trailers that I've seen, some, a couple, not really sneak peeks, it's kind of just been, you know, promotional ads or whatever, they showed a couple more scenes, and man, there is a lot that they're doing that is almost just game to game, and that's what Neil Druckmann said, is it's going to be an adaption, and they've had issues with adapting games to movies, they've had problems with it, like Resident Evil... I mean that's that franchise went woof, we're off the in, beaten path, but but so. but in multiple directions and multiple projects. Like. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Assassin's Creed, that movie was not great. The game's yeah. amazing, but the movie was not great. So Mortal Kombat, Mortal Kombat, was, oh better. Mortal Kombat was good. Hey, Mortal Kombat was good. the second, the the, the, new, the, the latest newest one. one, the newest one yeah, was good. I don't know yeah. about the, the originals. Mm, <laughs> they're funny to watch. Though. They are funny to watch. <laughs> uh, but the newest one was pretty. The newest one was sweet. good. So they're just trying to, you know, kind of break that curse to, uh, you know, the game adaptions that have been hard to make into movies. They, they, I think The Last of Us will really help to break that that barrier to say, yeah, we can adapt a game to a mo- to a well not a movie but this is a series but it helps if you have you a know, good story it helps yeah. It, yeah the last of us has an amazing story guys it is yeah. such a beautiful story you will love it i will guarantee that you will love the story 100 you're yeah. plugging it pretty well <laughs> i'm plugging it i have to plug it guys because yeah we definitely want you guys to check it out um if you're a big gamer if you haven't checked the games out definitely go check the games out they just well, released I mean, look, a remake of it for the consoles and i think pc it's even um, if you're yeah. not a gamer um, Even if you're not a gamer, a, it's yeah. a, a post-apocalyptic, you know, show. If you like that genre, if you like that genre, and, right, and even yeah. if you don't like that genre, like. I, from what I've seen, and I don't know much, but the story of this is well worth watching. So mm-hmm. yeah, the story is, is is absolutely amazing. So, guys, we hope this has given you a little more information. The Last of Us for those who uh, who don't know much of the game, who don't know maybe much of the series. Hope that allowed you to kind of get a better insight as to what's going to be coming with this story. Um, didn't want to give any spoilers away because there's, you know, there there is a part of the plot that you could that I could say, but it would spoil it for you, and I don't don't want to do that. We want to definitely make you guys watch it. You might as well have. I might as well The way have. you said it. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, uh, once again, stay tuned. We are doing a full reaction series, which will be starting this Sunday uh, for the premiere. Um, probably look for the, since the, the reactions will probably, since it'll be Sunday night, um, the reactions will be mostly posting on Tuesdays. Uh, but this coming Monday is a federal holiday. It's Martin Luther King Day, so I have the day off. So I'll be able to actually edit that and get that out Monday for the premiere. But after that, it'll be on Tuesdays. Yeah, I can't so, wait, guys. Yeah, it's going to be awesome. So let us know your thoughts in the comments. Make sure you like, subscribe, and come back for the reaction series of The Last of Us. I'm Jarrell. I'm Josh. We're Nation. We're out.